What's up there guys? Hey, we're, today we're going to be talking about the vassals in general. Uh, this is a new thing that's been released in the Crossover Souls set in Japan. And I just want to talk a little bit about it because I made a discussion regarding the Mega Monarchs a, li a while back. And now, since the vassals have just been released and I'm being like all super duper happy because they tie up the entire deck so well. Like earlier, we didn't think that this, these cards would be playable because they didn't have any, enough good support. But now, oh my god, the vassals, they just tie everything together. In a particular, five of them. The last one, I don't really care much for, but the these five that I'm going to be talking about right now are some of the... Uh, they solve all everything, because now you don't need to run a Treeborn Frog anymore in order to run Monarchs. You can run these, and they work just fine. In fact, you might even actually want to run these, because they're so good. Uh, but without further ado, let's go into what they actually do one by one. So first, we have my personal favorite... Uh, is Burlines the Firestorm Vassal. He's by far the easiest one to summon. Well, actually, well, second most easiest to summon, actually. Uh, he has the, like, the least useful effect um, out of all the good ones, per se, but it's still a pretty handy effect if you run things like uh, Mind Crush and stuff like that. It's a very useful card to have because it allows you to see what your opponent has, and it's a really cool thing. Uh, so the way you summon him is basically you can discard one card, special summon from your hand, but you cannot special summon monster from the extra deck during the turn for the rest of this turn. Uh, if this card is used for a tribute summon, well, if it's tributed for a tribute summon, rather, you can take a look at your opponent's hand and then banish one card from their hand uh, until the end phase, which is really cool. And you can only use each effect of Burlines, the Firestorm Monarch, uh, the Firestorm Vassal, once per turn. So uh, that's basically the same for everyone. They have a special summoning condition, and some of them gain an effect when they're tributed. Uh, next, we have uh, the probably the most important one of them is uh, Garum, the fire, uh, the Storm Monarch. It's the regular Storm, uh, well, Vassal. I Jesus Christ, uh, the Storm Vassal. Uh, you can return one tribute summon monster control to the hand to special summon him. So it's not that super great to summon, but you know you can recycle your Monarch effects that way. So you can like use a Kaios again to banish something else, which is quite useful actually uh, and when he's tributed you can add one um, monster with 800 attack and a thousand defense from your deck to your hand except himself and all of these vassals have 800 attack and 1000 defense if I'm not mistaken so that's pretty cool and next we have what I consider to be one of the absolute best which is Landrobe the rock vassal this guy is just insane. Okay. You can target one face-up monster your opponent controls. You you cannot special summon a monster from the extra turn for the rest of this turn. Also, special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, change that target to face down defense position. If this card is tributed for a tribute summon, you can target one monster with eight hundred attack and one thousand defense in your graveyard except himself and add it to your hand, which is really good. It is by far one of the easiest ones to summon and he also gives you back a vassal from your graveyard except himself. So that is really, really good. Uh, he's hands down with the best one by far. Uh, next there is Lucius, the uh, Shadow Vassal. He's not that super great, but his effect is pretty cool when he's tributed. Uh, you can banish one level 5 or higher monster from your graveyard, special summon this card from your hand, but you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of, uh, from your extra deck from the rest of his turn. Uh, if this card is tributed for a tribute summon, you can reveal all sp set spell and trap cards your opponent. Uh, all set cards your opponent controls. You can, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this effect's activation. You can only use each effect of Lucius the Shadow Vassal once per turn. So this basically makes it so that your opponent cannot chain to your monarch effects, which is really good. It's basically like. Um, I guess it's basically like a super poly, because, you know, you, if this resolves. If this is the last thing in your chain, your opponent cannot chain anything to it, which is ridiculous. And it's just really good because it blankets everything, and it's just awesome. Uh, and finally, there is the one that's the easiest to summon, which is Mithra, the, sh the Thunder Vassal. Uh, during your main phase, you can activate this effect. You cannot special summon a monster from the extra deck for the rest of this turn. Also, special summon this card from hand, and if you do, special summon one Vassal token. Uh, to your opponent's side of the field in defense position. It cannot, this, uh, this card is tributed for tribute summon. 
you can activate this effect. Uh, you can tribute one. You can tribute someone one monster in addition to your uh, now during the main phase of this turn. In addition to your normal summon set, you can only gain this effect once per turn. You can only use each effect of Mithra the Thunder Vassal once per turn. That is also pretty good. It's not as good as the other ones, but if you want to get out multiple monarchs in one go, this is the one to deal it with. Uh, and it's just a, the the deck is actually pretty decent right now. It has a very good uh, matchup against Chadals, and if you decide to go the hand hate route, as I made er earlier, uh, you, you're going to have a pretty decent matchup against uh, Nekors, but the rest, uh, I really don't know. Well, you have the Mega Caius, I guess, to deal with uh, Burning Abyss and Chadals. Even though Chadals are pretty much irrelevant right now, but Burning Abyss is still a very good deck. It's still a very good deck, don't get me wrong. So, uh, Mega Caius is definitely going to wreck them. As far as Cleeforts go, you don't really have that many answers for. I guess the thing you really just want to use is Stormforth together with uh, some of your other Monarch cards. And, you know, just to kind of get rid of things. And also, Hand Hate is really good in, against that matchup as well because the discarded uh, Cleefort monsters, they go to the graveyard instead of going to the extract, so they can't use them again. And as far as I know, uh, Burn uh, Clayforts does not have any in archetype uh, graveyard retrieval. So, yeah, they, some of those cards might as well be banished because they don't have ac they don't have any access to anything that's in their, their graveyard. Period. Uh, so, tell me what you guys think about these vassal cards, and I'm out.